It's almost Christmas, so why not make a fun video for the holidays? Then a friend of mine gave me this idea, how to get an Apple Watch for free. So I was going through all my design thinkings and see how well they had helped evolve my investment machine slash system. And it turns out, yes, it's totally possible. You can totally get an Apple Watch Series 6 for zero dollars. Ready to learn the steps? Let's go. Good morning everyone, my name is Justine and I'm a designer working in Silicon Valley. I have to say, design is so powerful, you can use it to make things happen, including getting a free Apple Watch. This is not a clickbait video, not a giveaway video. I'm here to share my discovery, a way to get an Apple Watch for zero dollars. I will include all the math, all the steps, all the knowledge behind it, so let's dive right in. After some research, apparently I'm not the first guy trying to talk about this. There's another YouTuber thought about using credit card sign-on bonus to pay for the watch. But still, there's a minimum spending required for opening that credit card. Mine is different in the sense that I don't have to spend any money out of my own pocket. Who doesn't like that, right? So let's get to part one, the prerequisites, things you need to know, as this method does involve some knowledge and experience. Number one, you are investing and you have been investing. Number two, you understand how margin investing works. If you don't, I have a video for it. I will have the link in the corner and the description down below. Number three, you need to understand how option trading works, especially selling put options. If you don't understand how it works, another video for you. It might sound like a lot of work and complicated. It doesn't really. Once you understand all three and you will know, it's nothing. The best part is there's no deadline for getting this free Apple Watch. Whenever you check all the boxes, boom, you're ready for it. If you already know all these, feel free to skip right to the map and execution or just to stay and hear about the reasonings. Now, let me quickly explain why you need all those three things. The first requirement, you are investing. Doing so means you are accumulating some wealth. You have money in your brokerage account and you have an investing mindset. The second requirement, understand how margin investing works. Investing on margin is essentially borrowing money to invest in addition to the money that you already have. To borrow money, you first need to have some money in your brokerage account, whether it's in the form of cash not invested or stocks, either one works, which explains why you need the first requirement you are investing because doing so means you have money in your account. The second reason is that since you're using somebody else's money, you are not paying any money out of your own pocket, which explains why why you can get it for free. If you are feeling sketchy about this, it's not. Keep watching. The third requirement, understand selling put options. Essentially, if you're selling a put option, you're basically thinking a stock is not gonna go below some price given the time frame, which translates to you think this stock is going to go up. Well, as you know, the US stock market tends to trend up. That's why buying index fund is a good investment. When you have an investing mindset, you will form your own investment thesis of what to buy and why you think what you buy will go up, which again explains why you need the first requirement. If index funds slash the US stock market or whatever individual stock that you believe in that you think is gonna go up, then that would be the perfect condition to sell put options. Another note on this is that most option buyers lose money. Who do they lose to? The seller. That's why I choose to sell instead of buy options. So now you understand how they interconnected. Let's move to part two, the math and execution. This is how it will play out. I have been investing, so I have some money in my account, which means I can enable the margin trading capability. That means I can borrow money. Using my TD Ameritrade as a demo, I can go into the option trading section. I will look at the put section. Depending on my confidence level and risk tolerance, I will pick a different price. For SPY, SPY, which tracks the S&P 500, it's basically the US stock market. And as we talked about, the US stock market tends to trend up. If you look at the 180 day chart or even the five year chart, even after the February crash, it's still trending up. Today's Monday and I think it's very unlikely that SPY will drop below $363 by the end of this week because of that uptrend pattern for SPY, right? So I can click this strike price and sell the 363 put for SPY. To sell this put option, I need to have 36.3K as collateral. 
because if super unfortunately it drops below $363, I need to use that collateral money to buy 100 shares of SPY at $363 per share. Or I can spend money to buy back the put and close out the position, which means I will have some money loss. Where's the collateral money coming from? I buy on margin, so it's the loan that I took out from TD Ameritrade. This is where the interesting thing happened. Because it's a collateral, the loan is not spent on actual stocks yet. It's just being held temporarily. So there's no interest charge. If I want to be safer, I will pay 357 as the strike price, which translates to about 3% drop for SPY. It's very unlikely SPY is going to drop 3% in a week. If that happens, something must be wrong. So to just give you guys a demo, I'm going to sell a put for 357. 47 here, it means I'm going to collect $47. I will receive 47 premium. In this particular simulation, the current margin balance is 76K, meaning I borrow 76K from TD Ameritrade. So I'm going to go ahead and submit the order. All right, it's successfully placed. So I got 47, actually $48 in this case. And if you notice the balance, the balance is the exact same. It's 76K. It might even drop a little bit because I received the $47. So as you can see, by leveraging the loan, the money that you borrow from the brokerage firm, you made $48 by spending $0 out of your pocket. By selling this 357 SPY put, Assuming at the end of the week, it doesn't drop below the strike price or that collateral, that 35.7K collateral will release back to you, go back to your account. So you're not borrowing any money, you don't owe any interest. With an investing mindset, I will pick a stock or ETF or index fund that tends to trend up. And then I will pick a strike price that is so low, low enough that it's very unlikely for the stock to drop below. Doing so reduces the overall risk that I will sell a put that ends up getting exercised or I have to buy it back and lose money. So now let's go to apple.com, go to the watch section and let's shop for a watch from 399. Okay, let's go to buy, try the silver one. I'm gonna dark gray band, All right? Okay, 40 millimeters should work. GPS is fine. And then add to bag. So review bag. All right, so the watch is 399 including tax. It's about $434.91. So now we know an Apple Watch Series 6 plus tax is $434.91. And for each week, I can sell an SPY put relatively safely for about $48. So it will take about nine to 10 weeks to fully get my Apple Watch Series 6 covered. I paid $0 out of my own pocket. Absolutely amazing. This is a framework, a method, that I found pretty effective to get some weekly gain to slowly grow my investment account or to get a free Apple Watch. Again, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm here to just share my discovery, my journey, how I use design to improve my investment machine and what I can do with it. Each person has a different risk tolerance and confidence level towards the stock market. So you might pick a different stock, different strike price, and therefore you have a different gain than I did. If I want to be safer, I can pick an even lower strike price, which will get a less weekly gain, which means a longer time to get my Apple Watch. But hey, a free Apple Watch is a free Apple Watch. With that said, thank you guys for watching. Hope you find some valuable and useful information in this video. If so, smash that like button for that awesome blue to show up. If you want to see more videos like this, also consider smash that subscribe button as well. Doing so will tremendously help the channel and motivate me to produce more high quality content down the road. Have fun following your passion and keep designing a better future. See you in the next video. Cheers!